Hey parents, this is the third week in our You'll Be Glad You Did series, and this message is all about setting sexual boundaries. The message is once again based on 1 Corinthians 6, this time verses 15 through 18, where Paul talks about that every time there is a sexual encounter, it is like somebody is becoming one with the other person. We talk about some things that brain science has taught us about how having casual sexual encounters can be extremely destructive to long-term healthy marriages. The main takeaway from this Sunday is that we want your middle schoolers to think about and decide what their sexual boundaries will be. We want them to make decisions now so that they're not making decisions when they're in very charged and tempting situations. The best way that you can follow up with your son or daughter from Sunday is by having a very intentional and straightforward conversation with them about what they can and should do with the opposite sex and what they absolutely should not do with the opposite sex because it's going to leave them with regret and pain down the road. Now statistics tell us that only about 10% of students have sex before they leave middle school. But there are a lot of things besides sex that you really need to talk to your son or daughter about. Oral sex is becoming way more prevalent among middle schoolers and high schoolers than sex. Sexting is when somebody sends a sexually charged text message, whether it be just text or it's a picture of themselves or somebody else naked. That's something that's become a real issue among middle schoolers and something that they need to hear your opinion on. And even though the majority of middle schoolers are not engaged in any kind of sexual activity, the reality is they are making decisions today that are gonna be carried out when they're 16, 17, and 18 years old. Today is the day that they're forming their opinions about the world and how they will behave, and so they need to have these conversations with their parents. If you haven't done so already, this would be a great week to sit with your son or daughter and talk about your household rules when it comes to dating. Can they date? When should they date? Who should they date? What happens if you don't like the person that they're dating? And all the other expectations that you have for them. Now in the description below, I'm going to include two links to articles. One is about sexting, the other is about oral sex. Both articles come from the Center for Parent and Youth Understanding. It's a great organization that has lots of resources if you ever just need a little bit of help understanding your teenager better. This could be one of the most formative conversations that you have with your son or daughter. We're praying for you, and as always, if there's anything that we can do to pray for you or to give you any assistance, please let us know.